Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. We're at the Arctic Edge in Canton, Michigan, home of the Arctic Figure Skating Club. And with us is Craig O'Neill, who's the general manager and president, who's been here since the beginning about 2001, 2000, right? December 2001 we opened up. And you have an amazing history of ice dancing medals in the Olympics, starting with Torino in 2006, yep, Jan 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 2006. 2006. Tell us a little bit about that first one. Well, it was exciting because that was US, US's first big anytime meddling in ice dancing. So Tanith and Ben broke the ice with that. Um, you know, we had some great coaching here with Igor Spielban and uh, Marina Zueva. And they're really, they put the ice dancing here, came over here and put the ice dancing on the map. And some other people followed. In yes. um, Vancouver 2010, you got um, some more medals. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore were the uh, gold, and uh, Merrill Davis and Charlie White won the silver that year. And so that was very exciting also. Then Sochi, they reversed it. Sochi, they, re <laughs> Sochi, they reversed it, yes. And I don't think Tessa and Scott were too happy. <laughs> well, and this year, 2018, in Pyeongchang, the Sib Ships, or Alex and Maya Shibutani, yes. came home with a bronze, continuing an amazing streak. That's correct, yes. I think that was, uh, you know, the first one's always the nicest, but the last one here for the Shibs, they've worked so hard. They were at the, uh, the 2014 Olympics, but uh, they really worked hard. They've really been, been the last four years. Uh, you would not believe the stuff they've done here. They've come in at 10 o'clock at night, working with special uh, uh, other coaches to work on certain things. They'd be here to midnight, one in the morning, and just they were very, 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 they worked so hard to, to, to get to get this, and we're, we're all so very happy for them. Well, it showed in their performances. Yes, it did, yes. <laughs> they had a great performance in that the long dance. And the coaching has a bit to do with it, I, I, I assume. Coaching always has something to do with it. It's like uh, they, if you had a great coach, people will come from everywhere to follow that coach. Can you talk a bit about your coaches? Well, you know, it started out with uh, Igor, who came from the Detroit Skating Club back in maybe 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he's, him and Marina were together, and they, they, they put a lot of ice dancers uh, into uh, Olympics in the World Championship, U.S. Nationals. Uh, and then after the 14 Olympics, Igor and Marina parted ways, and Igor went over to Novi, and Marina stayed here. And, you know, Novi has, a, has, I think, has a pretty successful program right now, as well as we do, and so it's, it's worked out well for everybody. And Marina has had a few international skaters. I believe she wore three jackets at this last Olympics. Yeah, they all, the coaches <laughs> seem to do that a lot. They seem to bring these teams in from, from everywhere, you know, around the world, and then they, they work with them, and then they have to represent them at, at different events. So they do, coaches do a lot of traveling uh, to, to these international events uh, with, with these other ice dance teams. So medals like that and publicity like that must bring a few more skaters every Olympic season. It does. It helps a lot. It helps build our Learn to Skate program that we have here. Uh, we have a very large Learn to Skate program, and, and the, you know the young kids see that, parents see that, and they want to be, they want to get their kids out. And you know whether or not they become Olympic stars, I think it's great for kids to learn how to skate because as they get older, it's something that you know you never know what you're going to do in middle school or high school, and everybody gets a group together, let's go ice skating, and you don't want to be the one that says I don't know how to skate. Well, skating is one of those things like golf you can do until you're yes. 70. I can do it, and I'm 70. Yes. So. It's great exercise, too. It it's a good way to get out of the house and, and come out and spend an hour or so at the rink and just skating around. Can people learn how to ice dance here? They can. They can. They can. It's, uh, Marina will, you know, she would be the one you'd want to contact. I think her, it's called International Skating Academy is her name of her, uh, of her uh, you know, what she, what she goes by. And, yes, you can contact her. Do you have to have a partner, or can she find one for you? Oh, they'll find them for you all, all the time. They're always looking. <laughs> this time of year now, after Olympics are over with or after Worlds are over with, that's when teams either will split up or they will they start look, new partners start looking for one another. Well, it sure has been exciting to watch, and congratulations to you and the Arctic Edge for all these champions. Thank you. 